In this video, I will be pitting the best value Yu-Gi-Oh sets against each other. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. And as I said, some of the best value sets will be pitted against each other in this video. You might be asking, what are the best value Yu-Gi-Oh sets? It's a question that I get quite a lot. What set should I open and actually get a lot of my money back? Well, two of them are here today. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, Invader of Darkness Secret Rare from 2017, 25th Anniversary Trihorn, and then an original 2003 XYZ Dragon Cannon from the tin. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below, which is the best value set in your opinion, Maybe it could be one of these two, or do you have another idea that you think is better value? Have you ever wanted some first edition Metal Raiders cards in your collection? Well, I have good news. Thursday, June 15th, I will be breaking a first edition Metal Raiders box live on Whatnot. Each pack will be sold live, so you'll have a chance to buy a pack, get all the cards pulled inside, maybe even the Gate Guardian. Simply click my link down below. You get $15 for free on your first purchase, so you could get $15 off your pack. Go into the app, search my name, Ruxon34, find my live show for this June 15th in book market. This auction will consist not only of the first edition Metal Raiders box, but we'll also have some amazing things on the buy it now tab, as well as some insane giveaways. So if you guys want to participate in this awesome Metal Raiders box break, make sure to check out my live stream on the 15th, 5 p.m. Central. I hope to see you guys there. All right, time to reveal which two great value sets, not great value as in Walmart, but in great value as in when you open them, you get a lot of value out of them. We have something we've opened many times, Legendary Collection 2. And in this one, we have not one, but we have two Legendary Collection 2 to be opened. And the reason for this is they equal about the same value as the other product that we're gonna open. The second product we have is a gold set, premium gold, infinite gold. So this specific set, I don't actually know how well this is gonna stack up, but almost all gold sets seem to pull a lot of value out of them because there's so many nice cards that are like two and three dollars. We are gonna be pitting these two against each other. This is about 200 bucks. Those are about 100 each. So it adds out to about 200 per you know product side. We will have a price counter on the screen and you'll see at the end which one pulled more value. I'm gonna open these up off camera real quick because it takes forever to open up this kind of stuff and get to the packs. All right, so we have our 10 Legendary Collection GX packs, Dual Academy years. Then we have our two promos, which are gonna be about 20 bucks total, adding onto our value, so GX is immediately ahead. Then we have five mini boxes of premium gold, infinite gold. I didn't pull it out of the mini box because you know the part of the presentation is just pretty awesome. So we're gonna start off with premium gold, infinite gold because there actually are more packs here. There's three per mini box or something like that. There's only 10 of Legendary Collection too. So we're only opening 25 packs today, but they're all pretty you know big value. And that's part of this uh, you know little experiment we're doing here. Are these some of the best value sets? We might go on a little hunt to find the best value set ever. Who knows? If you guys like this, we'll try it again. All right, let's do three premium gold, infinite gold. I think this is the one we opened recently as Max C, right? Maybe that's a different one. I can't remember. There's so many different gold sets. We have number 61, Volcanosaurus or Volcasaurus. We'll drop all. We have Spell Shattering Arrow. I don't think this is the Max C one. Junk Karibo. Wow, that looks incredible. Check out that lighting, 4K a little bit. New cameras, guys, a little uploading in 4K. It makes it look good. I mean, it looks good anyway, but you guys can see it better now. All right, Skarm is a pretty good card. There's some good stuff in these uh, premium golds so far. So we need to open about 1.5 premium golds per Legendary Collections. Let's see which can win. Uh, Castell, it's gonna be, I think, a tough task for the gold. Wow, these look really good. Treacherous Drapple, Crazy Garden Duel Links. You guys remember that uh, shared ride? Also pretty cool. We got a King's Consonance. And we have, this is a Virgil, this is a Burning Abyss card, very, very nice. And now it's time to attempt a little Legendary Collection 2. Let's see what we can do with a Legendary Collection 2. All right, a little rhyming going on. We have Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. Six Samurai Yaichi, we got Clay Charts. That's not a super in this set. Rampart Bluster is a super. There's something going on with our lighting today. I don't know what it is, but it needs to be like this every time because this looks really subtle and awesome. Necro Gardena, not an incredible card. I think it's under a dollar. Infernal Sniper, not also that good. Oh, Glow Neos. This is a crazy rare. I think it's like seven bucks. So that will save us because that was not a great pack until then. Quite the opening so far. We've already got some value. I think GX has a decent lead because they had that $20 promo kickoff there we'll see if premium gold can catch up at this premium right yeah infinite gold 
We have the uh, Master Paladin, Grand Horn of Heaven. I really like these gold secrets right now. They're looking great. Mistake and Arrest, pretty crazy card. We have a Magical King Moonstar, okay? And then we have another Burning Abyss card. These, The problem with these is you can't read the names. Look how shiny they are. I don't know what they say unless I know the card off the artwork. Okay, and since it's uh, 1.5 packs for every Mega Pack, it's two to three. That, are, that should be perfect. Here we go. Uh, I think it's two from the back. I'm going to do that. We have six Samurai. Come on. Hero Spirit. Clock Tower Prison, very nice. Six Samurai Yaichi, you have Evil Hero Inferno. That's a beautiful super. Banisher of the Radiant Secret Rare, awesome. Light and Dragon, not that great. And then we have Crystal Beacon. Okay, so yeah, two from the back worked. I think three probably doesn't work, so we're not gonna do that. Second Premium Gold, Infinite Gold mini box. Let's get this thing open. Uh, the first box was kind of a dud, it wasn't great. I feel like this is the set where it's a lot of under $10 cards, but like almost every like, gold rare is worth a dollar, but there's not a lot of big ones. Okay, Premium Gold inside, we have three more Premium Gold packs, very cool. So let's see what we can get. We have, oh, Red Eyes Flare Metal. Yeah, this is the set, because I think this is one of the better cards, like six bucks, it was like in the top, five cards i think so cosmo dark destroyer cosmo okay no no all on that but this is a really nice card as well very strong for cosmo not that they're good anymore but shared ride has been in every single pack i'm just going to note that magic queen moonstar was in the last pack as well and then we have a i don't even know what to say uh the libic that's an interesting name there not bad not bad we did get the red eye star metal that's pretty solid we're gonna need something better than that this is probably farfa's favorite set though look at all these burning abyss cards we have the black rose dragon that's got to be a decent card in gold that actually looks pretty solid cosmo forerunner little forerunner cosmo action we got mistaken arrest every pack so far been insane number 38 hope harbringer this was probably actually a lot more until it got the reprint recently it was probably actually really expensive and then dante travel of the burning abyss i do know this burning abyss card it's too classic not to all right not a bad pack right there legendary collection two up next let's see what we can do we did two from the back last time let's see if we can pull some crazy secret rares let's go we got dunker we got hero mask crystal beast amber mammoth hero heart Venomenon, the king of poisonous snakes, super rare. We got elemental hero, avian, alternate art. I always get avian. It's always the alternate art we get. Uh, Hydrogadon, not crazy. Uh, Gladiator's Return. Okay, yeah, so as I said, three from the back would not have worked there. We would have spoiled one of them, which I guess would technically be the rare, so it wouldn't really be a big deal, but premium gold, infinite gold. Here we go. We have, ooh, Digusto Emerald. See, just a lot of solid cards in here. That's a nice card. Deep Dark Trapple. Might have gone up with the Trap Tricks. I don't know if that's a very good one, though. We got Mistake. Not Mistaken Arrest. We finally didn't get it. Uh, the Junk Changer Secret Gold Rare. We have, oh, Scar Metal Branch of the Burning Abyss. That's definitely a solid one as well. Is there, like, even foil on, like, the artwork? I can't even tell. I don't think there is. All right, one more. Legendary Collection 2. We're getting down to, we got, like, six packs left of Legendary Collection 2. We got nine left for Premium Gold it seems. We have Crystal Beast, Cobalt, Eagle, Gateway of the Six, Elemental Hero Mariner, Thunder King, Ryo. Now that's like 10 bucks. That's a big one for GX. Okay. Our Righteous Justice. We got Plasma Super Rare. You Bell, the Ultimate Nightmare. Probably worth a little bit. And Venomenon. Okay. This Venomenaga is not worth a lot, unfortunately, even though it is a really cool card. Next, Premium Gold Mini Box. These look so nice. I do love the presentation of these. They're also not as big as like the Maximum Golds. The Maximum Golds, they decided they want them to be like 100 feet long so i'm glad that they didn't do that okay premium gold let's get them out pretty cool looking packs pretty cool looking mini box now let's see if we can get some pretty cool looking cards i don't like how they're sideways though it's kind of weird i mean i don't dislike it it's a little weird though when you turn the pack and it's like pointing the wrong way castell we have ice hand pretty cool card mistaken arrest who would have thought uh, number 84, Pain Gainer, and we have the tr Time Traveler in the Burning Abyss. The Traveler, not Time Traveler. Okay, second pack, let's go. A little sideways golden action. Let's see if we can get a crazy pull. We have Luster Pendulum, Void Trap Hole, Mistake, not Mistaken Arrest. This is just called the Mistake Slot. It's just always something mistaken. Stardust Charge Warrior, Secret Rare, and we have the Rubik. Very nice. A little Burning Abyss action. So I think those are doing pretty well, but Mega Pack, I think, is probably holding them off. With all the great pulls we've had out of Mega Pack, uh, Legendary Collection 2, I should say. Gladiator Beast and all, we have D Fortune. Change of Hero Reflector Ray, we got Wild Heart. Elemental Hero Terra Firma. Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman, Secret Rare, all right. And Gladiator Beast Octavius. Man, the, the foils are really hitting it right now. They're hitting really nicely. Premium Gold, let's go. Infinite Gold, let's do this. We have, okay, we got a Vector Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, whatever it's called. Treacherous Trap Hole again, very beautiful, looks awesome. Fairy Wind, finally not a mistake. 
Shining Hope Road, and we've got another Burning Abyss. It's almost every single pack is a Burning Abyss card. One more Legendary Collection. We've got two more mini boxes and four more packs of Legendary Collection 2. Been a good opening so far. A lot of value has been pulled. Total value was $400 spent on these, so we're probably not going to make that back, but... Uh, we are making definitely some money back. Magma Neos. I read the super rares look really good out of Legendary Collection GX. They just hit really well. Bandit Show the Radiance again. That's another good card. We got Ice, uh, White Knight Dragon. There's no ice involved, but it is icy looking. Second to last mini box. Here we go. Let's get our packs out. Let's see what we can get in the second to last box. Infinite gold. Give us infinite amounts of gold. Number 61, Volcanosaurus. Cosmo Strawman. Mass Change. We have the Frost Blast of the Monarchs. And we have another Burning Abyss card, which I cannot read. A Lich? There's so many of these. Oh, wait, we just pulled that. Never mind. <laughs> we just pulled that. Never mind. I, I take it back. We had already pulled it. Let's see what the next one will be. Oh, Naruto. It's not Naruto, but this guy looks like a member of the Akatsuki. I'm just saying that. Uh, Deep Dark Trap Hole. We have Shared Ride. Wow, crazy. We have the Phantom Knights. And we have another. The Cal... Cow car? Man, I wish I could read these golden guards. Legendary Collection 2, your time to shine. I think Legendary Collection 2 might be better value based on this. I think, but I think on average it probably is too better than this premium gold at least. We have Aqua Dolphin, Rainbow Gravity, Elemental Hero, Inferno, Super Rare, a Sparkman alternate art, two alternate arts, nice. And then a Cyber Phoenix. The Ultras just aren't great in Legendary Collection GX for the most part, except for uh, whatever that big uh, Neos Wiseman guy is. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. The rest of them are all pretty much studs. Here we go. Not all, but a lot of them. We have Abyss Dweller. First time pulling that. It's a great card. Uh, Ice Hand. Okay. Radiant Mirror Force. Pretty cool. Dark Advance. And... Oh, it is the Maxi set! Maxi has been pulled! Oh, man! We did it! I totally thought this was a different set. Maxi making an appearance. The legendary hand trap that everybody wants to see come back. Right, guys? All right. Legendary Collection 2, Max C, that, that's definitely going to help. That's like a $15 to $20 card, very solid. That might help them come back. Let's see if we can hold them off, even though Legendary Collection GX has commons worth almost that much. Storm Neos, that's that's one of them that's worth a decent amount. Not that much, but Phenomenon. Darkness Destroyer, whoa. Darkness Destroyer is missing half of its name. You can kind of see it there, but it didn't really print. It's a little bit of a misprint pull here, guys. Misprint Legendary Collection. I think that that'll help add a little bit of value there. That's crazy. Then Dimensional Prison. That's a, that's another great ultra that I forgot about in here. Wow, that's so cool. A misprint. I see that? Like the bottom half didn't get the foiling on the name. That's super cool. This is turning into a crazy opening. Max C and then an error card back to back. Premium gold, infinite gold, last box. And then we have two boxes of, or two packs, I should say, of Legendary Collection GX left. What an opening so far, guys. It's been fun. It's been awesome. Premium gold. If you guys have been enjoying the video, don't forget to go check out some other videos on my channel. We've recently had the 200K videos which were pretty insane. So you're gonna wanna go watch those. Uh, check them out. There's been some good stuff on the channel recently. We have Black Rose Dragon, that's a great card. Cosmo Dogfighter, we have Mistake, crazy. We have Junk Changer, and we got a Dragig or whatever his name is, I don't know. Okay, we'll do one here and then we'll do two premium gold. Switch it up a little bit. Legendary Collection GX, you've been good so far. What else can you get? Plasma Vice, I think might be a dollar. We have Cunning, we have Dark Panther, Hero Counter Attack. Destiny Hero Double, Diamond Dude, not Double Dude, and a Gladiator Beast Laquari, pretty solid card. And then Instant Fusion, we immediately get two Ultra Rares after I hate on the Ultra Rare slot. Those are both really good ones. Instant Fusion and the uh, Dimensional Prison we got earlier. Looking solid. Let's go into Infinite Gold. Three packs left in the opening, guys. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. We got another Flare Metal Dragon, that's good. Cosmo Forerunner. Fairy Wind, we have Dark Advance, and oh, it's not another Maxi, it's Libich, or whatever his name is, which is a very funny sounding name, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, here we go. Legendary Collection GX, let's go. We have two from the back. We have Destiny Hero Blade Master, Dark City, Rainbow Gravity, Emerald Taurus, the Fearmonger. We have Evil Hero Inferno Wing and the Shining Phoenix Enforcer. So we pulled Shining Flare Wingman and Shining Phoenix Enforcer out of here. And then an Octavius. That's not great. But that's still a pretty sick... You know, GX had some really good pulls in this. And finally, Premium Gold, Infinite Gold. Here's the score at the moment. I don't know if it's close enough for them to come back. It's been a pretty solid opening for both sides, though. Let's see. Maybe they're even ahead. Cosmo Town. We have Breakthrough Skill. That's a crazy good card. 
Finally, a good card in the middle slot. Suku Sukumo, not Sukiyomi slash. Okay, and... Oh, a Seer. Melda Branch of the Burning Abyss. I cannot say those Burning Abyss cards. Still a pretty awesome opening. Here is the score of the versus battle. Let me know what you think. Shout out to Toe Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.